my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make for you. Well, it's actually for me, but I'm making it so you guys can watch some baked macaroni and cheese. So we're going to start with uh, a pot of water, which I'm going to salt fairly generously. It's for pasta. I'm going to put a half pound of elbow macaroni. I even weighed this. It's not half pound, a pound, a whole pound of macaroni, elbow macaroni for our macaroni cheese. We're going to put that in here once it boils. For the sauce, we're going to have one egg. Eggland's best. Yes, actually from Eggland. Um, three cups of milk, three tablespoons of butter. So we don't need the whole stick, so I'm just going to do three tablespoons. We're going to put that away a tablespoon of dried ground mustard. It just, it's the secret ingredient in a, a well done baked macaroni and cheese, y'all. And today I'm going to use medium cheddar cheese and some Colby Jack. Now I'm not a loud neighbor, apparently. <laughs> um, I've got 16 ounces of cheddar and I've got 12 or eight ounces of the Colby Jack. So. I would probably use all of this and maybe half of this. It's, I don't really measure it when it comes to cheese. I just throw a bunch in, save a little for the top, of course. Um, with the top, I may throw some of the cheese with some breadcrumbs and butter and mix it all together and throw it on the top. We'll see. So first we need to get this water to boil. We will boil the pasta and I will be right back and we'll make the sauce. So hey everybody, welcome back. So let me tell you what's going on in here now. I have got the pasta is cooking in the large pot of boiling water. It's not cooking very fast, but that's okay. Um, one pound. I'm going to take the three tablespoons of butter, and I apologize if I'm turning my back to you at some points, but here's the stove, here's the camera. So. <laughs> Three tablespoons of butter. We're going to melt that butter. We're going to need a small whisk. And what I have done off camera is I, um, because I live by myself, I have prepared four separate dishes, baking dishes, so that once they are baked, I can take three out of the four and freeze them. Um, and then I feel like I, I don't feel like I'm not wasting food. Or I could just mail it to you guys with the whoopie pies. So we're melting the butter over a uh, low heat. Um, that's going to be about five minutes. So we're going to want to put, we're going to put the egg in this little dish here. This itty bitty dish. There is our egg. I'm throwing away the eggshell. And I'm just gonna take a little fork. Well, it's actually a big fork. And I'm just gonna whisk it a little bit here. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna temper in this egg into our uh, flour mixture later on. And I will show you how to temper an egg. What it means is that you do not want to add this egg to a hot mixture all at once. So what we're going to do is temper the egg so that it will come to the same temperature as our flour mixture and it doesn't turn to scrambled eggs in the pan. So we're going to put that right here next to our recipe. I'll take the fork out because this fork's going to go flying. And so we need to do a tablespoon of ground mustard into the butter mixture here. Yum. Okay, generous. It's delicious. Trust me. It's not like regular, you know, Dijon mustard. Okay, tablespoon of mustard. And we're just going to kind of whisk that in. I don't know if you can see that. We're whisking that mixture in there. 
still cooking the pasta. We want it al dente, the pasta. Just so not quite done because we're gonna want it to finish cooking with the cheese mixture when we bake it. I have turned the oven, preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Sorry guys, I don't know what that is European. Because I know you guys use a different scale. So while that is melting, we're gonna add just a teeny weeny bit of our butter. We don't want it to turn into lumpy, um, melted cheese. Because <laughs> this is gonna be our flour cheese mixture and we don't want it to be lumpy. So we're gonna add a little bit of milk at a time. We've got three cups here. So we're just gonna stir this and just as we stir it, Add in milk, just a little bit at a time. So, yeah, very little bit, because I don't like lumps. And that flour will cause lumps. We're gonna let that come to our temperature. This whole process takes maybe five or 10 minutes. I mean, if you're in a rush, get the craft out. I, I totally love Kraft macaroni and cheese. But if you're in a quarantine situation, then you go through the cupboard, you make sure your milk's not going to expire, that you've got an egg in there, because I think we all have eggs, um, that you've got some flour, some cheese, maybe some leftover slices. It doesn't even have to be grated cheese like I have. Maybe you've got a block of cheese that you just don't want it to go bad. Let's make macaroni and cheese. We're, you know, it's a pandemic, let's make mac and cheese. We gotta have something healthy to go with our whoopie pies, don't you think? So I am stirring that as we add the flour in. Because we don't want lumpy flour. And we're still stirring the pasta. This is a weird burner because it actually um, it goes for large and small. And right now it's on small. Well, no wonder. <laughs> I thought this was large. Maybe that's small. All right, let's put it on the other one. It's not that I don't know which one is which, except this knob doesn't tell me which one is which. So I think I, oh, for heaven's sakes. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, I have it on the right burner now. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I, look, I'll show you. See, it doesn't have any directions on it. And I rent, so I'm not gonna complain. It's a beautiful house otherwise. And I'll just put the knob back on. Of course you will, there, it's on. You just have to play with it to figure out, you know, where, where you are with the burner. Okay, we're gonna add some more milk and we're gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna turn the temperature up just a little. We don't want to add any more flour right now. We could add a pinch of salt. That never hurt anything, right? I I love macaroni and cheese. I like salty macaroni and cheese. That's just me. Oh wow, I just looked. It does say half a pound of macaroni. I put in a pound. Well, we may have to double the recipe again. <laughs> Me and recipes, I tell you, you know, I will just, if we don't have enough, we'll make more. We can make more, we have the technology. We have eggs, we have flour, we have milk. And you can always, um, if you don't want to use all the pasta, you can use some of this pasta to make maybe like a tuna salad or something else, you know, you don't have to use all of the pasta that you cook. But, We'll use as much as we feel is necessary. Because I like to, uh, I like to have that cheese absorbed into the pasta. Oh, so good, so good. All right, we're adding more milk, we're whisking. And yeah, it takes a little time. You can't, it's not something you can like do at the same time as you're crocheting or cross stitching or diamond painting. So you have to set aside a little time for this. But it's, it's such a comforting food, mac and cheese. And, 
And during these kind of times where we're holed up in our house, what's better than a comfort food of baked macaroni and cheese? I can't think of anything better, to be honest with you. We're gonna put a little bit more flour. And if we need to double the recipe, we will, but I don't, I don't think we will. If I did, Lord, I'd have so much macaroni and cheese in the freezer. I already have uh, bread pudding in the freezer. I have uh, whoopie pies in the freezer. And look here, <laughs> bananas that are already going ripe on me. So there may be some pandemic bread, uh, pandemic banana bread in our future. I love a good banana bread. I gotta tell you. So that is the flour. We're done. Let's put the milk. Let's put the rest of the milk in there. That looks like a lot. Let me show you. See, and we're just gonna stir it until it thickens up. I'm just looking around to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I don't think so. Um, the recipe calls for onion. I don't like onion in my macaroni and cheese, nor do I like a bay leaf or paprika. So if you want to add that stuff, feel free. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the egg in this in here so I can whisk it as I temper the egg. And I'll show you how I do that. Just make sure that the milk has come to a, uh, a warm temperature, and it hasn't yet, so we'll wait. Okay, our pasta's cooking now, yay! All right, it's thickening up. I can, I can feel it getting warmer, the burner's on. Gosh, remember old-fashioned burners, <laughs> you know, we're, you didn't have to like worry about this single bit of glass. Everything's like this glass top now where you have to try to figure out which burner is which. And I'm from the old school where you had the different um, plugged in burners and you know, you had to take those things that were underneath of them out and clean them or, or replace them. And some people covered them with foil. If you don't know what I'm talking about, bless you. <laughs> Because you're young. <laughs> yeah, glass tops are nice. Compared to the old days. Okay, it's it's not there yet. So uh, this is oh gosh, I'm think have I, I've even lost track of the days that we've been under this pandemic and that I've been in this house. I mean, I have been going to work each night um, to answer phones, uh, which I'm doing again tonight. Um, but just to hold up in the house here, 14, 15, 16, 19 days. I think this is 19 or 20 days, yeah. And then they're saying, you know, till the end of April, oh, Lord knows what I'll be cooking then. <laughs> I might be out of macaroni and cheese by then. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, just reading the recipe, make sure I'm doing it correctly, except for making too much pasta, but that's never hurt anybody. Make sure it's free of lumps. Oh, we have no lumps. In here today. No lumps. We did good. You guys want to see? Look. No lumps. All right, we're almost done with the pasta. I just kind of eyeball the pasta because, like I said, it's going to finish cooking in the oven as it absorbs that mac and cheese. Uh, well, that's the mac. As it absorbs the cheese. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull my pants up, guys. Sorry. 
pulling the pants out. Oh, oh, he'll be me time. He'll be me time. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part out, I promise you. When I do my editing, there'll be like a little blank there. Where you just saw the blank, I was dancing, he'll be like pulling my pants up. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think that we're good on the pasta. So let me stir this real quick. Okay, I've got this large, lovely colander. Oh my God, I don't know where I got this, but I love it. So I'll put that sink right there. This is not too hot. Cuisinart. I splurged a few years ago and went and got Cuisinart. Oh, so good. Such a great brand. And the thing I love about the brand that I got, the Cuisinart brand, is it will go into the oven up to 500 degrees. Wow, that's, I made a lot of pasta. Holy moly. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna put that in there. We're gonna continue stirring here. We don't want any lumps. Okay, now we're gonna get to, see? Yay, we got pasta. We'll let it drain a little bit. So now I'm gonna show you how we temper the egg. So what you want to do is you want to bring this cold egg to this temperature here. So you just put in a little bit of that milk and then you stir it around as you're putting in the milk. And this tempers the egg and it keeps the egg from scrambling. And you just do a little bit at a time. This is what it means to temper an egg. So just keep doing that. If you added that egg, that cold egg, into this hot sauce, you would have scrambled eggs. So that's why you temper your egg. I'm making a mess. And Brian, Chef Elliot, he probably knows all this, right, Brian? My sister, my sister, <laughs> she's. She watches all my cooking videos and, and leaves me very constructive criticism. I love my sister. She also went to culinary school. She uh, is retired, so she doesn't do it anymore. I didn't go to culinary school. This is the school of watch mama cook and grandma cook and learn how to do it and read the recipe on off the internet. <laughs> That's what, off the Food Network. Absolutely. So we're just going to do like one more little scoop of milk, maybe a letter. And then by now our, our egg should be just fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that spoon out, put it over the pasta. Then we're just going to kind of like stir it into the mixture slowly. And this egg is gonna give the mac and cheese this beautiful consistency. It really is. So let's let that heat up a little more. So I'm gonna use this, as soon as this burner cools off a bit, I'm gonna put the pasta, well I can, I can go ahead and do it. I'm gonna put the pasta back in here. Um, you know what? We're gonna use it all. Why not? Okay, <laughs> we made it, let's use it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is once this thickens up, I'm gonna pour it in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we can start adding the cheese. I'm adding the Colby Jack right now. Keep that stirred. Man, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> so what else can we bake during this pandemic time? I'm thinking what else I'd like to cook. Um, if you guys have suggestions of what you would like to see me cook next, hey, if I have never cooked it, that'll be fun. We'll just try it together. So leave some suggestions 
down in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do. It'll be fun. I'm having fun cooking and eating. Um, well, you know, I have to go to work tonight, answer phones. I'll probably take a little bit of it with me tonight. Oh, that's going to be yummy. It's thickening up, so I'm not really going as fast. Because we're adding that cheese and it's melting. Yum. So good, so good. More cheese in. I like Colby Jack cheese. Not everybody does. It's Colby and Monterey Jack. Um, it's crap, of course. Yeah, we're just, all right, let's just, let's just put it all in. Why not? Okay, and then we're gonna add the chatter in the in later. Oh no, why, why don't we all gonna add some chatter now? Why not? The more cheese, the better. <laughs> I will put cheese on the top as well. Oh, they, they're playing with me. They don't want me to open it. Ah, okay. Which is why I always have scissors in my kitchen. Because ah, these darn people do not want anybody um, elderly, I would say elderly, I'm not really elderly, to get into these packages, good gosh. Wow. <laughs> this is melting, oh, so beautifully. Let me show you, oh my goodness. It's gorgeous, see the Colby and the Monterey Jack in there, oh, there it is. Oh yeah, we're gonna let that melt. It needs to melt. So how long are we cooking this? Okay, 
I don't know that I'm going to need all these pants. I think I'm going to divide it into uh, these two square pants here without making a huge mess. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. All right, there's one. absorb into the macaroni and I'm going to make the mixture that goes on to the top. Wow, that's going to be delicious. So we've got our 350 degree oven and yes, I still have my Christmas uh, towel on here. Let's put this in. Now I was looking for the time on this. Let's see, what does it say? 45 minutes. So I'm not gonna stand here and talk to you for 45 minutes, but I will be back in 45 minutes and we will see what we've got. So take care. Okay, we're back everybody. We've got about uh, 11 minutes to go. Yes, pants time again. <laughs> Not gonna be on camera when I do that this time. So I had this great idea. I was diamond painting and this idea came to me. I'm actually working on a Diamond Art Club Mandy Manzano for the Mandy Paint Along. It's Rapunzel. So beautiful. So anyway, I thought I would take some of these nacho cheese Doritos that I bought when my granddaughter was here because I thought she would like them doesn't like them, so we're gonna use them. So I'm gonna take a handful and you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely not in the recipe. So we're taking a handful, you know, a little bit more for good measure, put that over there. Okay, get the air out of it. And then, we're just gonna, oh, I forgot one. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> one did not make the bag. So I'm just smashing it up. And then I'm gonna add it with the, um, a little bit of breadcrumbs, not a lot, and uh, some some of the cheddar cheese. I'm gonna mix it all together, and then we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the mac and cheese. How yummy! So you know, make your mac and cheese any way you want, any way that you learned when you were growing up whatever is a comfort to you. Get it out, see what you've got in your cabinet, and make it. Maybe you've got some leftover Doritos. So I'm gonna take this now. Pour this into here. This is our cheddar cheese and breadcrumbs. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up. How yummy is that? Mm -hmm. Now, let's open the oven and we're gonna sprinkle some on top. Oh, look how yummy that looks. <gasps> Woo, my glasses fogged up. Let me make sure that you can see the oven. Oh yeah, there you go. So we're just gonna Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh, look at that. 
sprinkle it on the top. Of course, I'm gonna get some on the oven and it's gonna burn and it's gonna smell terrible. <laughs> That's the joys of cooking. I don't know if I need all of this. in there and let it cook for seven more minutes then I will take it out and show you the finished product okay we're back the timer has gone off let's see what we've got I'm so full I ate that Dorito I know it was one Dorito but I had lunch and then I had yeah so I'm not hungry so I don't want to try it but um let's see what it looks like <gasps> I mean, I don't, I used to have two of these things, but I don't know what happened to them. Oh my gosh, wow, wow. So, here it is. And you can see like on the bottom how it got a little brown. That's gonna be yummy. and cheese like I said comfort food just what I need <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video please leave a comment of what you'd like to see me uh, do next and we'll give it a go take care